Well, the relationship between trade opening and human rights is sometimes a bit tough. And simply because the main advocates of human rights are sometimes the biggest critic of you know, market capitalism, globalization, hence trade. And I've been often confronted with audiences or activists or some NGOs saying, so, you know, how can you tolerate that open trade uh, is creating a sort of social dumping? and big multinationals imposing their will on the will of the people. Now, I think it's much more complex. And that trade opening and human rights promotion can very well go hand in hand. Starting with one major linkage, which is that trade opening makes people less poor. And if people are less poor, they have more human rights. Uh, this is something that's concrete. It has to do with the life of the people, not just uh, the proclamation in some books. Uh, so that's the main contribution. Uh, growing the pie under conditions that make the sharing of the pie fairer. And of course, a lot of uh, how you share the pie has nothing to do with the rules of international trade. A lot has to do with domestic systems, with social systems, with uh, uh, income redistribution and so on. The other area where there is a clear connection between human rights promotion and, and trade opening is this whole principle of transparency. Uh, the major thing WTO is about, and the GATT has been about for a long time, is publication of what people can do and not do. So that the sort of arbitrary behavior of a customs official or a trade official is much more difficult if the regulation is published, if all this is transparent, as it is in the case of human rights, where abusers are more difficult if everybody knows who has the right to do what and not to do what. So poverty, transparency, these are two main bridges between what can be the positive effect of trade opening and the promotion of human rights.